violinists, welcome to From Strings. I'm Henriette and today is lesson 11 in the Learn to Play Suzuki Violin Volume 2 course. Today and in the next three lessons I should say, we are learning the song The Two Grenadiers on page 17 of your Suzuki book. And we're going to take that in stages because it's a rather complicated one, nothing to worry about. Um, so we're doing it step by step. First of all, let's get started and let's get you tuned up. Now the two grenadiers is in two sections. The first section is in the key of D minor, which we will be learning in the next lesson. The second half of the two grenadiers is in the key of D major. We have learned the D major scale before and we're just going to refresh our memory. And then in the next lesson we're going to be thinking about what the exact difference is between major and minor and how we can apply the D minor scale in the first section of the two grenadiers. So let's warm up and refresh our memory on the D major scale. We're just going to play each note twice with long bows and we're going to start on the open D string and we're going to play up to the third finger on the A string. Will you join me please? And... <laughs> the position of your left hand, the position of your bow hold, make sure you've got the correct stance again like we learned in our first course and when that's all in order here we go and <laughs> about a little bit more today and we're going to practice a dotted rhythm on our scale today. You can see it in the dotted rhythm exercise on page 16 and we're going to play the first exercise there and you can see we're on the E string there and we're going to play a very quick note down bow at the point Let's practice that slowly. We're going to start at the point, but I'm starting a tiny little bit away from the point of my bow because my first bow stroke is going to be a down bow. So I'm not using a great deal of bow, that's why I'm starting about this far away from the point. And now we're going to go down and then a long up bow. So when you do that a little bit quicker, it will sound like this. 
and now we're going to go super quick and I'm squeezing like I've done before I'm squeezing my bow and then suddenly let go now I'm going to play this at the point and I'm going to follow it at the heel of the bow but as I played down bow at the point I'm now going to start up bow at the heel So if we join that up together, it sounds Now, get your head around that, it's not so easy, it's confusing for most people Down bow at the point Start a little bit away from the heel Up bow at the heel Down bow at the point, so start a little bit away from the point Down bow and up bow at the heel okay so when we practice the second section of ex the rhythm exercise you can see we're, we're adding the note at the front do that again And now we're starting it at the point. And it's this bit, which you practiced in the earlier section. We're learning this bow stroke because it appears like that in the second half of the two grenadiers. Now let's have a look at the last exercise the last dotted rhythm exercise, I should say. Now we're going to join that up, look. And if you feel like it, you can play all of this as a variation on the twinkle scene. I would like to go now and play the second half of the Grenadiers. Now the second half of the two Grenadiers starts on the last note of bar 22, on that up bow A. So let, let, let me play that. by now that I often like to start at the end of pieces and that's what I'm going to do today as well again I'm going to look at the last two bars so here you can see very clearly the bow stroke that we've been practicing and this bit so let's play up here and then up there and do that again very near the heel is our up bow. Let's put the last two bars together now, shall we? And okay, let's now go and find bar 22 again. We're going to start on the last note of bar 22. We're going to start it at the point and use long bows. Two, three. Now here, unlike the dotted 
rhythm that we've practiced, I want you to play your bows really nice and long and flowing. So legato here. When you hit the top note here, please count to three. One, two, three. So in our heads, we're subdividing this dotted crotchet into three quavers. This is something we've done before, so please do it here as well. Uh, let's do the same thing again. Up bow on bar 22, the last note after three. One, two, three. One, two, piano section which is bar 30 the last bar <laughs> excuse me which is the upbeat to bar 31 now as we've said use the fourth finger here and now up down actually here you may play the open E string so here you use a fourth finger. Okay, so let's do the dotted rhythm in bar 32. And again. Okay, very nice. Shall we go back to that upbeat again? Mezzo piano, the upbeat two bar 31. Two, three. of this piece in the next lesson um, and I've started this piece on the second half because it's just that little bit easier to allow you time to develop that dotted rhythm bowing technique. You've done a great job today so practice it as much as you possibly can. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already and any questions you may have do write them in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you in lesson 12. Bye bye!